Ya. Tiwari has come. Uh, Nim Manurag has not come. Sahil has come. Good. Very good. Excellent. Um, good evening, candidates. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Are you able to hear me? Anybody rush yes, me? Are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Are you able to listen? Yes, sir. Good, good, good. Excellent. So yesterday I gave you some assignment. Na? Pata nahi. हमने क्या असाइनमेंट आपको दिया वो भी भूल गई हमने हमने क्या क्या बोला क्या क्या आप लोग पढ़ के आना पड़ेगा बताइए तिया सा सर यस्टरडे लास्ट में मैं नहीं थी क्लास में बिकॉज़ इट वाज पावर वेट ऑफ देन हु हु एल्स वाज देयर इन द एंड रश्मि वेयर यू देयर यस सर हमने क्या बताया आपको what was my requirement amne kya bola you told that uh, one have to speak for 5 minutes uh, on a one topic super that's a right thing that's a right thing i told each one will have to speak for 5 minutes on any one or two or three topics based on what he or she has studied on the previous day and one more assignment also i gave i remember what was that one more Good evening, sir. We Good you evening. said that you will dis discuss the current affairs from sixteenth of March. Ah, correct, correct, correct. Usme bhi questions puchenge. Good. Abhi samajh gaye hamko. First, we will. Who would like to start first? Now the assignment is very very simple. So instead of uh, the question being asked to you, you are now entering the room, and the interviewer. Ask you to talk on any subject of your choice. In fact, this is a very famous question in some bank interviews, where they will ask you to speak for two minutes in English, two minutes in your local language. Any topic, you can talk anything under the sun. But I would prefer you to talk on banking subjects that you have studied. Uh, yesterday or day before yesterday, whatever it is about which you are confident, kindly speak without keeping the stuff before your eyes. While I, what like what I do, I keep things before and read because I can't remember. Whereas you candidates must be able to remember. So please bring from your memory and speak with confidence. That is my question. Nothing else. I want all of you to speak with the confidence. Yeah. Now, who would like to start first? I leave the choice to you. आप लोग अपना decide कर लीजिए. जो पहले बोलना चाहते हैं, बोल दीजिए. Maximum five minutes. Five minutes का ज़्यादा नहीं होना चाहिए. इसका अंदर में you have to create a good impression in the mind of the listener. that you know banking you are suitable for banking like that samajh gaya i think the group will not come of its own and the names are also not starting with a b c d so let me take the pleasure of inviting mr shrayans first mr shrayans carry on Please talk for five minutes. Yeah. Good evening. Am I audible? Yeah. Fine. Yes, sir. So, in the last two days, sir, I have studied banking awareness and covered several topics. These include sir, RBI, I revisit them, RBI, its financial, its monetary policy, and the recent, I mean, the repo date, reverse repo date, these information. After that, I studied basic banking stuff like what are the different types of bankings, how banks generate income, 
and after that i studied about state bank of india and few facts regarding state bank of india and this recently concluded quarter 3 results sir and this is also i read about can you please tell about any of these things in a, in an explained manner explanatory manner sure sir i can start with the rbi rbi stand for reserve bank of india it is a central bank of our country established in 1935 later on nationalized all yes yes please rashmi yes uh, tell sir. me sir anjali has messaged me like you are not allowing her <laughs> i am not allowing her aisa nahi hai Yeah, I think your name, your name has not come here. One minute, let me check up. Yes, sir. Anurag, sir, to saying that he has approved. I mean, he has. The, the, no, their names are not. Ah, uh, now only it is coming. Nim Anurag Anjali. Now only it is appearing for me. Sir, Abhi there is one one friend of mine who have just subscribed your interview course, sir. His name is Tushar, sir. He is waiting for your response. So should okay, I he... send this? link uh, you send the link to him let i will give other materials afterwards okay, let him okay, join sir. Yeah, please send okay sir please send now these people's name is appear uh, tushar also is coming tushar is coming i am uh, admit yes sir tushar and then there is one humaira these people are joining yeah good 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 no problem that's really nice Uh, I was cross questioning Shreyans. Shreyans was trying to tell about Reserve Bank. Yes, sir. Please continue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a RBI, RBI stands for Reserve Bank of India. It is a central bank of our country, established in 1935 under the Young Hilton Young Hilton Commission. Later on, nationalized on 1949, and the first RBI governor was Sir Osborne Smith. And the Ex current Ex uh, Shreyans, you have been with me for twenty days. I have always been stressing on the importance of not telling more on history, especially yes, because, especially because, your interview is going to be maximum ten minutes, fifteen minutes, and within those yes, fifteen sir. minutes, आपने अच्छा points बताना है. आप गप्पा बात okay, बात बात करने से हमारा कैसे होगा? It's not good. So now tell me okay, about sir. state state bank of india quarterly figures so state bank of india quarterly figures the net profit of state bank of india was 14205 it has a net interest margin of 3.6% and the capital adequacy ratio is 13.27% sir the cash ratio was 44.46 percentage and the net npa is 0.77% Gross NPA is three point one six or so four six. I'm not able to recall it, sir. This these are the quarter three results I visit, sir. I fine, can't go. fine, fine. But then I would have expected you to tell about deposits and advances also. Yes, sir. I was going for the the deposit. Actually, State Bank of had done was forty one, approximately forty one lakh crores, and the advances they had done was thirty one lakh crores, sir. Good. This one you were able to tell nicely. Yes, sir. Would you would you like to add something more to create an excellent impression about your knowledge? I think regarding sir the context of State Bank of India, sir. Hmm. Tell me. Yes, sir. So basically, as far as I remember, State Bank of India is the only public sector bank who is in domestic systematic importance bank category, and it is also the Only bank in India which is in Fortune 500 list, and it has the highest market capitalization. And I read it somewhere. It says that it is the first bank to provide loan to farmer, championing the green revolution, sir. Oh, it was written in that about section of SBI, sir. Excellent. That that you can believe it and tell, because the interviewers yes, also would have gone through that and they will go with that. That is correct. Good. Nice, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Good job. Good job. Thank you, sir. We will go to Nikila. Nikila's internet will not work many times. Now it is working. Let us see. Nikila. Nikila ji. Sir, am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. 
Nikila, now the assignment yes, for today is, I don't know whether you were there yesterday. The assignment uh, I'm is... I'm absent, sir. Yeah, each one is supposed to speak about uh, any banking topic uh, that he or she has studied. And um, also, if you can talk about current affairs also, you can talk for totally not more than five minutes. Oh, okay, sir. Sir, uh, can I speak about monetary policy? Very good. Welcome. No, no one. You do. You you need not talk only about one topic. You can talk about two, three, four topics. It is like a different form of interview. Instead of interviewer asking questions to you, you are given the option to speak on your behalf on different topics, such that you create an excellent impression in the mind of the listener. Samaj okay. Uh, okay, sir. Okay. Purinjida. Purinjida, sir. Ah, tell me, tell me. Uh, monetary, uh, the main uh, monetary policy is mainly provided to uh, control inflation. Um, um, it's uh, mainly pro uh, provided for control inflation, and um, uh, it's it's a bi-monthly policy. Every uh, every uh, in a year, yeah, uh, it it is revised for every two months. Uh, the current inflation rate is at, uh, four plus or minus two. Uh, the there are uh, two type of inflation occur in the economy. One is demand pull inflation, another one is cost push inflation. The demand pull inflation is mainly occur when demand is increasing faster than uh, supply, and cost pull uh, cost push inflation uh, occurs uh, when a rise uh, when the rise in the price of uh, raw materials. And uh, um, for to control uh, monetary policy, banks should. Uh, uh, do two things. Uh, one, uh, one, one is that uh, they should reserve some cash in the deposit. Uh, another, uh, another, uh, uh, and, and there are some rates like repo rates, uh, reverse repo rate, uh, 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 reverse repo rate, a uh, bank rate, and a marginal standing facility. Uh, coming to uh, standing uh, SLR, saturated liquidity ratio, and uh, CRR. Uh, uh, the bank should the bank should reserve some amount in the deposit in the form of uh, with themselves in the form of gold uh, foreign currencies uh, uh, securities gold bonds uh, with them is is known as SLR the current SLR rate is eighteen percentage and the CRR uh, government uh, uh, the bank should uh, uh, fix uh, bank should have fixed amount uh, with the uh, RBI uh, the current uh, CRR is a four point five percentage uh, repo rate is uh, when when a central bank of uh, India. Uh, lend some amount to the commercial bank of uh, commercial bank. Uh, uh, it is known as a repo rate. The maximum uh, amount, uh, give, uh, minimum amount given to in the repo rate is a uh, five crores. Uh, the current repo rate is six point five zero. And uh, coming to marginal standing facility, uh, uh, commercial bank can uh, borrow money from uh, Central Bank of India uh, at overnight with with the given securities and collateral. The uh, the current MSF rate is a six point seven five percentage, and um, uh, coming to bank rate, the bank rate uh, is a government give loan. The uh, Central Bank of India lend some money to Commercial Bank of India over a period of uh, it's it's a long time loan over a period of three sixty five days. The current um, bank rate is six point seven five percentage. Not bad. You seem to talk with confidence. Very nice. But you were in a hurry. To complete everything, but 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 immediately you wanted to finish off. And I I have to speak slow. Everyone are saying that you are uh, you are speaking very fast in English. I have to control it. You told me this ten days back, and still you are not correcting yourself. I, I'm I'm Correct. correcting it, sir. I'm trying to correct it, sir. I'm I'm in the process. In the pro say in the pro while talking about SLR, you were mentioning as foreign currencies. Where did you read this? Sir, I read it in uh, Google, sir. No, normally, I have come across SLR means it is to be maintained in the form of government securities, gold or cash. But uh, you are mentioning about the foreign currencies. Sir, I read it in somewhere where uh, SLR should not be in the form of uh, Indian rupees. No, no, it has to be in form of Indian rupees only. It cannot be in foreign currency. Who said so? Okay, okay. I think I think what you are talking is probably SDR. Special drawing rights. Maybe. Okay, okay. Okay, sir. That it may be special drawing rights that is maintained in the form of dollars. Anyhow, 
there, there is some confusion in that regard. So I would suggest you to tell about SLR, tell them banks have to maintain 18% of their net demand and time liabilities in the form okay, of sir. government securities or gold or cash. Okay, I said, but stop with that. That was sufficient. Good meeting. Okay, okay. Good you, sir. I have nice. an inquiry, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, can, can Is there any simple definition of net demand time liability? Actually, I was going through various sources, but I wasn't. I mean, the definition was quite complex for me to understand. Even I am not very familiar. Let me again search and tell you. Net demand and time liabilities. What is net demand and time liabilities? Net demand and time liabilities refers to total demand and time liabilities. That is deposits of the bank that are held by the banks with other banks. Demand deposit. NDTL refers to the total NDTL refers total demand and time liabilities of the public oh, oh, that are held of the public that are held by the banks. No, no, even then that difference is not correct. Uh, what is the definition? What is the difference of NDTL and DTL? Demand and time liabilities. And the net demand time liabilities are two terms openly pop up in connection with monetary review policy of RBI and liquidity in market. Banks are in the business of accepting deposits and deploying these funds by way of lending and thereby earning profit in the process. Um, what does NDTL stand for? In terms of section 42.1, of RBI Act 1934, scheduled commercial banks are required to maintain with the RBI an average cash balance, the amount of which shall not be less than, now it is 4.5% of the total of net and demand time liabilities in India on a fortnightly basis and RBI is empowered to increase it. Now, still the definition is not coming. Anybody has seen a better definition for this? Anybody sir, I else? can tell with the help of an example, sir. Yeah. Sir, if the, the time and demand liability is like the time deposits like FD, RD and demand deposit like CASA. So at the end of the day, whatever there is like, suppose someone has deposited something. Uh -huh. No, no. And here I, no, no. Sorry, I got it. I got it here. Okay, okay. I got it here. I had it, but uh, now I will show you. Uh, Sarayans, please note it. Yes, sir. Very simple. Very simple. This one. Demand and time liabilities with you minus the deposit you have put with other banks. Yes, got it, sir. Thank you, sir. Got it. Very simple. But I, I have seen this earlier, but somehow I'm not I was not able to get it when I this is the problem with the interview, you know. When we need it, we will not remember it. Good. So very nice. Now we will get back to our discussion. Um, where are we now? Mm, yeah. One minute. I don't know where am I? I should close this. Yeah. Shrayansh. Um, stop sharing. Then it will come. Correct. Okay. Now it's fine. Now, after Shrayans, after who talked next, it was Nikila. Now, who would like to take the next chance to speak for five minutes or three minutes or four minutes? But you should talk, whatever you speak should be correct. 
anurag right anurag okay sir okay sir uh, i would like to talk about sir checks uh, uh checks comes under section 6 of uh, negotiable instrument act 1961 Mm. and uh, no sorry 1881 mm. 1881 mm. and the validity validity of a check is uh, 3 months that is 90 days and there are types of checks uh, like bearer check order check and cross check where the bearer check means uh, the payment is done in the form of cash mode uh, mm. the payment is uh, can be given to anyone the check can be uh, issued to anyone so this uh, bearer check is also known as risky check uh in order check uh, the payment is done in the form of cash but the payment is done to the payee so uh, it is not a risky check now uh, coming to cross check uh, there are sir three categories in cross check simple crossing restrictive crossing and special crossing in simple crossing uh, we mark a two parallel uh, lines across the top left corner of the check and this check can be forwarded to any other party and in restrictive crossing we write account pay between the two parallel lines and this uh, check then cannot be forwarded and the payment is credited to only the bank account of the payee and in special crossing uh, uh, we write the name of the branch a uh, name name of the bank uh, between the parallel lines and this check cannot be forwarded again and the payment is uh, credited to the specific bank account of the payee uh the bank whose name uh, is written on it sir and sir i would like to mention uh, under the bottom of the check uh, we use micr that is magnetic ink character recognition which is a nine digit uh, number uh, where the first three digit uh, um first three digit number reveals the name of the city then the other three digit uh, tells the name of the bank and the last three digit uh, tell the information about the branch and in order to uh, have a secure uh, transaction in the form of check we use a positive pay system sir uh, where the uh, where the amount if the amount is above 5 lakh crore uh, it is mandatory to uh, use a positive pay system wherein there is a double cross verification by a sms or a call through the bank uh, to approve the transaction sir that's good good any questions anybody would like to ask regarding check to anurag any questions regarding check if you have any peculiar point you have in your mind which he has not covered you can try to ask about that nothing thank sir, you i would also i would yeah. also add sir the about the post dated anti dated check and stale check is uh, which mm. i did not mentioned in the please tell answer please tell suppose dated check means the date of issue from any future date that is the validity starts from the same future date sir mm. and uh, in anti dated check uh, the date of the issue is from the previous or the past date sir and mm. stale check means the check whose validity is of 90 days is expired sir good no but one thing sir, you always mention the 90 yeah. days from the date mentioned on the check on the check okay or okay. you can use the terminology date of the check okay sir or date on the check something like that otherwise your sir, answer sir i have a, sir i have a doubt sir sir yeah. i have a doubt sir see um, i understand what is stale check and uh, post dated check but what is the benefit of using anti dated check sir is there any particular advantage no, of using no, uh, anti dated no 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 anti dated check uh, Uh, supposing my uh, i am supposed to make payment before 15th of um, uh, april then i will put a date as 15th april or same 15th march if it is going to be the old date there is no specific advantage in putting the anti date except that if i want the fellow to present the check immediately or early i can put a date which is 2 months old so that he has to present it. his validity period comes now today 30th march i am issuing a check dated say um, probably 31st sorry 31st december 
the only contention is the fellow has to put the check today itself because Samaj the gaye? validity period is going to over yes sir yeah. so if we want to give the person only uh, less uh, less validity period we use because the because i am end. not confident of keeping cash all the time okay sir okay. or i yes, do sir. not want to keep more cash in my account all the time today only okay. i am keeping the balance i am giving the check the fellow has to take it something like that but i don't find any specific reason for giving anti dated check and all post dated check that is fine because hmm. i don't have money now i will get money after one month only so i give a check dated 1st of may 2023 that is fine yes sir that thank you fine. sir yeah very good thank you after that who would like to speak next come on volunteer yourself we have a new player here amera or new participant amera you are from which state amera is you are also from uttar pradesh what is your degree please yes sir sir bsc bsc very good which year did you complete sir 2019 2019 Acha, are you working somewhere now? Yes. Where Where are you working? Yes, I am working in RRB, Arivat Bank. Oh, Regional Rural Bank. Arivat Bank, sir. Arivat uh, yes, RRB, RRB. Very good. So, Amira, now, uh, can you participate now itself, or you would like to wait for a chance? Amira, absent or what? मेरा का इंटरनेट खत्म हो गया कोई बात नहीं देन वी विल टेक प्रणय प्रणय कैन यू स्पीक फॉर फाइव मिनट्स यस सर कैंडिडेट्स टुडे वी आर हैविंग अ यूनिक एक्सरसाइज ऑफ आस्किंग एवरीबॉडी टू टॉक अप टू फाइव मिनट्स ऑन एनी टॉपिक ऑफ योर चॉइस वन दिस विल हेल्प यू प्रिपेयर ऑन अ टॉपिक टू इट विल गिव यू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक बिफोर अदर्स थ्री इट विल इम्प्रूव यूर कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल एंड four it will help getting feedback from me and from others pranay please start yes sir i would like to uh, tell about uh, i studied basel norms so i would like to tell about basel norms oh baba basel norms basel are you a norms. commerce graduate no sir i am an engineer oh god great please speak basel norms are international norms given by bank banking committee of uh, basel committee of banking supervision in 1974 and uh, uh, in the wake of uh, a bank crisis in west germany and uh, basel 1 uh, has been given by this basel committee in 1998 india adopted it in 1999 the provisions under uh, this are the bank should have to be a uh, keep minimum capital requirement that was 8% and the it this basel one focus only on credit risk which is later it was found out it was not sufficient for the supervision and financial resilience of the bank so it uh, later in 2004 basel 2 has come up uh, basel committee has come up with basel 2 guidelines in that guidelines they have given the uh, three criteria first one three pillars first pillar was minimum capital requirement that was kept same like 8% second was uh, supervisory process review and in under this it was uh, uh, the certain conditions are like uh, in the india rbi has ad advised uh, all banks to have an internal committee uh, for the supervision of the risk associated with the bank and likewise they have uh, created a i cap internal uh, capital adequacy assessment plan and third pillar was uh, third pillar was market discipline and this uh, exposure in that it was advised to uh, all the banks uh, to report publish their report every twice uh, twice ev every twice year so that the market uh, participants will be able to know the present financial condition of the bank and the third basel norms was uh, came in the wake of 2008 financial crisis basel 2 was not uh, sufficient to 
prevent it in the us banking system uh, this uh, uh, when this crisis came they came up with basel 3 norms in 2010 under this they are two three points have been added along with whatever they were following in basel 2 and one more thing i forgot to add that basel 2 norms were uh, started focusing on uh, credit risk market risk and operational risk and in basel 3 along with these things they added the the um, bank should have capital conservation buffer of 2.5% and counter cyclic buffer capital conservation buffer is just uh, a little extra uh, capital the bank owner should keep in this bank so that the depositors money will be safe and sound and second thing is counter cyclic buffer this was given a range of from 0 to 2.5% in this this uh, counter cyclic capital buffer stand for in the actually in economy when boom and uh, uh, when boom came then uh, uh, the bank have to save some money for the um, uh, down period suppose the economy is going down and in they can use this while uh, from their reserve and the special committee come with a car uh, uh, capital adequacy ratio of 9% where tier 1 capital and tier 2 capital was divided by risk weighted asset where tier 1 capital is the primary source of the a bank their capital's own money uh, promoters own money were deposited in uh, calculated in this criteria and tier 2 is depends on it consists of the revaluate revaluated uh, uh, shares and um, subordinated debt uh, and uh, yes these things and the rbi uh, actually basel 3 norm uh, norms said that it there should be car of 8% but rbi suggested to 1% more 9% and along with the capital conservation buffer for 2.5% so total come out to be 11.5% and now because of this i think rbi has been uh, kept these norms and because of which even the um, uh, amid uh, the crisis ongoing in us bank or where we have seen that signature bank uh, silicon valley bank and silver gate bank collapsed we are not we have the indian economy system did not feel anything and banks have resilience and sound good thank you sir your, your your speech was very good you were not talking nicely and i have given a link about um, basel 3 norms of say indian express in the our telegram page all of you please go through that normally these areas uh, uh, i only pray they should not ask questions on these areas because they are really confusing even for me uh, frightening for me also but if they ask you should not say you don't know you must try to answer them with confidence just now okay. i came across this page and i find uh, some very bad no bad news is there 14 dead as roof of indoor temple step well caves in operations under way to rescue others is there anybody from madhya pradesh here now madhya pradesh nobody i don't know what is this problem about uh, i am showing it to you just now current news police personnel conduct rescue operations for those trapped in the step well at a temple following its collapse i don't know what is step well can anyone i am 72 year old still i cannot understand what is step well can anyone tell me what is step well North India में is it familiar? What is step well? आपने सुना है इसका बारे में? Sir, And... there are steps to go down to the uh, bottom of the well on the uh-huh. circumference of the well. There are steps. Oh, step yeah. well का मतलब getting down the steps to reach the water in the uh, well. And yes, in sir. that possibly because of the crowding or so. Uh, it has crashed oh oh can you please read this please read bopal are you seeing 14 the devotees yes sir ah. 14 devotees have died after being trapped in a 40 feet deep ancient step well after the concrete slab What, roof uh, over it usko kuch bolta hai bavdi 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 yeah after the concrete slab roof over it caved in at a temple in indore according to a senior police official 
13 bodies were retrieved from the well while two of the 19 who were rescued alive died at the hospital 11 of the deceased are women while two are men one is supposedly a young boy four rescued devotees are stated to be in a critical condition and are in icus the mishap happened during the ram navmi celebration at the baleshwar jhulelal mahadev temple in indos patel nagar area on thursday at 11 am overcrowding in the temple premises is said to be the reason for the collapse hmm. rescue, rescue operation, operation Re uh, rescue operations underway water is currently being drained out of the well as more bodies are feared to be trapped in the water inside the step well divers along with special equipment have been sent into the step well leaders ladders ladders, ladders made mm. ladders made out of ropes are being used to rescue the trapped devotees rescue operations are likely to continue until late evening indore mayor Push Pushya Mitra Bhargav, the district director, and the police commissioner are supervising rescue operations by the local police and the state disaster emergency response force personnel. Key political leaders, including National BJP General Secretary Kailash Vijayvargya, his MLA son Akash Vijayvargya, and Congress MLA Jitu Patwari, are at the spot. Very sad. Very sad. Briefing journalists, uh, of course, all this is not required. The, uh, anybody going for interview in Madhya Pradesh or Bhopal next uh, for uh, this, they will ask. So please go through the details about this temple. Where is the temple? When was it constructed? What is the god and what happened like this? So this is the problem of interviews. What to do doesn't matter. Yeah. That was okay. Now, who would like to speak next? Please come on, come on, come on. We are running short of time. Yeah, tell me. yeah please, Tia, sir, speak. Sir, I want to tell about financial inclusion and its schemes. Super question. Very good question. Please speak. Okay. Financial inclusion uh, is the method of offering banking services and financial solution to uh, every individual of our country uh, without any discrimination. So, uh, to uh, financial inclusion have some schemes uh, that that are uh, Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Jojana, Auto Pension Jojana, Pradhan Mantri Bhaya Vandana Jojana, Pradhan Mantri uh, Jiban Jyoti Bhima Jojana, Shukanna Shambhuti Scheme, Startup India Scheme, Mudra Scheme uh, and various other schemes are there. So I would first uh, like to tell about Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Jojana. Uh, it ensures the access to uh, financial uh, services like um, uh, savings deposit and uh, deposit accounts, remittance, credit, and pensions in an easy manner. Uh, zero balance uh, BSBD account is needed for uh, this scheme, and only the person who don't have any bank account are eligible uh, to uh, consider under this scheme. And interest is earned on deposit, and also rupee debit card is provided to the person. And a uh, accidental insurance is uh, given in this scheme, and this covers of uh, rupees one lakh previously, and now it has been uh, rupees two lakh uh, for the PMJDY account holders. Next, uh, I will tell about auto pension jojana. Uh, it is an old age income security uh, scheme for the workers uh, who are working in unorganized sector. Uh, it uh, is a fixed pension for the subscribers ranging between rupees thousand to rupees five hundred. Central government has uh, up to fifty percent contribution for no, the no, auto no, pension. No, no. Wait, wait, wait! You said the last sentence. You please repeat. It is a for some the last few points. Last point. The workers uh, in unorganized sector. And okay. uh, fixed pension is uh, varies from rupees thousand to rupees five hundred uh, five thousand. Ah, he initially and, said five hundred, five hundred. Amara, I heard it oh, as five hundred. Yeah, continue. Oh, sorry, sir. Mm. Achha, uh, a person can join under auto pension jodana if his uh, age is between eighteen to fifty years, and the contribution no, no. of pension eight, eight, eighteen to fourteen. Huh? Is it fifty? Yes, I've heard it. Forty years, sir. Forty years. Forty. Forty only. Yes. Not fifty. Forty only. Because I don't remember everything, but then this is point I remember. Okay, continue. 
yes sir the contribution will vary uh, with respect to the joining time like if one uh, joins uh, lately then uh, the payable amount will be um, less and the same pension uh, will be uh, transferred to the spouse after death of the account holder and savings account is necessary for these schemes and also the contribution to auto pension yojana is eligible for tax benefits which is similar to the national pension scheme uh, next uh, uh, pradhan mantri uh, jivan jyoti bima yojana uh, for pradhan mantri jivan uh, jivan jyoti bima yojana the age of the person will have to be between 18 to 50 years and that person should have a bank account it is basically a life insurance scheme for one year uh, and the cover period is from uh, 1st june to 31st may uh, and it is renewable uh, it is uh, the coverage it has is of rupees 2 lakh and the premium is uh, 436 rupees per annum but the risk cover is applicable only after the first 45 days um, of enrollment uh, except accidental death case next uh, shukanna samriddhi yojana Uh, it is the um, scheme for girl child whose age is within 10 years and uh, the minimum deposit for this scheme is 250 rupees and the maximum deposit is 1.5 lakh uh, and the girl can attain uh, partial withdrawal facility uh, after 18 years uh, if he if she want to uh, have higher studies and uh, the super, maturity super. period yes sir very good preparation very good Thank i'm extremely i'm extremely happy about your uh, contribution i think other members also will feel so very good apne acha bola hai thank you uh, sorry i'm not able to give you further time because others have to speak don't worry you are proceeding on the right direction good very happy now uh, um i will give you 9 out of 10 for this performance miss uh, tiasa i wish you should succeed but thoda aur bhi acche se pad lijiye fogaj bhi pad lijiye and go with confidence i am sure you will succeed amera we were talking to amera amera suddenly your internet got cut disconnected yes sir sorry i lost my internet connection no problem we, we can't do anything about that amera you said you studied sir, it's amera Please tell what is it? Humera. Yes, sir. Humera. Humera का meaning क्या है जी? Sir, happiness. अच्छा, good. Humera, are you happy? Yes, I am happy. Why are you coming to us after so many days classes? Sir, I was busy in Ramzan. आपको खुशी रखो गुड नो नो आई एम रिमाइंडेड बिकॉज नॉर्मली दिस इज वॉट अवर साई बाबा यूज टू से Mera? Yes, sir. yes. Sir. Have you have you heard? Yes, sir. Sure. In which in which place was he living? Shirdi. Okay, Shirdi is in which state? Uh, Excuse me. Maharashtra. Yes, sir. Maharashtra. Maharashtra. Good, good, good. Yeah, excellent. very nice now come to your degree what is the degree you studied bsc yes sir bsc mein which subject you liked very much the chemistry chemistry good 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 now can you talk on any banking topic any current affair topic any chemistry topic for about 3 to 5 minutes yes sir i want to talk about fiscal policy very good that's nice normally only ma economic students will take this topic and i am happy you are choosing it please talk okay so fiscal policy is prepared by government by preparing budget and budget consists of two parts revenue budget and capital budget 
रिवेन्यू बजट कंसिस्ट रिवेन्यू रिसीट एंड रिवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर रिवेन्यू रिवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर इज द मनी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट एंड इट डज नॉट क्रिएट एनी असेट नॉर रिड्यूस एनी लाइबिलिटी एंड इट्स एग्जाम्पल्स आर सैलरीज गिवेन टू द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉज सब्सिडीज गिवेन ऑन वेरियस स्कीम्स फर्टिलाइजर स्कीम्स and uh, interest paid by the government on loans and money spent on social services and capital expenditure it creates assets or reduce liability like uh, on defense when government uh, spend on defense it creates liability and uh, road and highway and loan given to other nations but one thing uh, the, humer humera what prompted yes, you to choose this topic because this is such a vast topic even if you speak for two days you can't give satisfaction over that point you know such a vast well, i topic. recently what? read this topic so i decided to speak on it <laughs> you recently read it from where which book on youtube sir acha youtube you watched it acha acha yes Good. as i have not prepared much about anything till now but i will try my best for the next 6 to 7 days acha have you appeared for any interview earlier yes sir last year i have appeared for uh, rrb interview ivps interview and sbi interview all three of them acha and you are already working in rrb as a clerk correct yes sir oh as the reason the re as an officer yes sir oh god oh great you are ass assistant manager yes sir then we will ask so many tough questions to you please yes, tell me the ask. job please tell me the job role of a state bank of india probationary officer or now tell me what is the job role of a, an officer in rrb amera oh sorry humera bolun acha is the internet there or am i audible not? yeah now audible please speak please speak humera humera hmm Mera, I think her internet is not all right, and she is an officer, oh, Baba. That means we can depend more on her for knowing about Kisan credit card, agricultural advances, and all that. Anyhow, thank you. Who would like to speak next? Please come on, quick, come quickly. Already we are getting late. Come on, yes, Tushar, sir. Tushar Raj or Om? Yeah, yeah. Om start. Om start. Sir, I. Which... Sir, mm. since uh, all the race topic are more data related, so sir, mm. will I go too deep or just uh, over it? No, no. You just give me overall view of it in about three minutes. Sir, can I can I use two three topics? Or shall I give you a topic? Uh, mm. No, no. You choose. That is better. It is because whatever you are confident sir, of. Since you uh, Anurag sir already talked about check, but uh, in negotiable instrument there are promissory note and bill of exchange. So can I say about it? Now, what is your degree, sir? English honors. <laughs> English honors. English honors. Race topic. Sir, race topic. Yes, sir. E English honors, fellow. Mm, nothing wrong in talking about it but then that is again a very dry talk about something where you can tell definite ideas and all that you know for example mm, it's okay you choose you go ahead go ahead one what minute you feel for for things one to say what i, I will, want yeah i will try i will give you a topic uh, um i will give you a topic uh, please talk about government business done by banks more especially state 
Bank of India. One minute, I am switching 